Alright, what is going on guys? So I'm gonna try and keep it quiet because I think that Tristan's still sleeping. But as you guys just saw, I did just weigh in at 175.6 pounds, which is a new low of this mini cut. Uh, super excited to be back here. And honestly, I'm very happy with the way that my body is responding to these calories. I mean, I'm really not in that big of a deficit. And I wouldn't say that I'm grinding out that that hard. And it's cool to just see how my metabolism is, uh, that it has picked up since my show. So, um, I'd say my body definitely responds very well to higher carb, lower fat, so that is the diet that I'm, uh, or those are the macros I'm kind of sticking with, just ensuring that I'm keeping my fat in the 50 to 60 range, probably where I will stay, and carbs, honestly, I might, for next week, I might just drop my carbs down to 345, uh, literally only 5 carbs down, and then drop my fats 5, so I might sit around like 345 carb, 50 fat, and 200 protein and just ride that out for these last two weeks, this mini cut that I'm gonna do, because honestly, I think that my body will respond to it. Of course, if not, I will keep you guys in tune with that and let you guys know, but that should work for me, and uh, a lot of a lot of stuff with uh, macronutrients and if it fits your macros and counting and stuff, is just finding what works for your body, because as I just said, like for me, I've noticed through a lot of trial and error that my body responds better to my higher, uh, or I'm sorry, higher carb, lower fat, but there's other individuals uh, that I know who respond way better to higher fat, lower carbs. So they might be in the range of, you know, like 90-ish fat, and they're down at like 200 protein, uh, or not 200 protein, 200 carb, but at different levels of their deficit, and it's crazy to see how that works, but definitely for me, my body responds very well to that. Uh, at some point, I would like to, uh, when I get back into my lean bulk, I would like to mess around and see maybe if my if my body's adjusted to different things and I might try uh, increasing my fat uptake, lowering my carbs and just seeing what my body does. But then again, I will be in a surplus. So um, I don't know, we'll see. But I'll definitely test the waters and let you guys know. But uh, I'm not too sure what is gonna be going on today. Today is Saturday, January 14th. Uh, I'm about to go hit a workout. It's about 11.45 right now. Um, I don't know what else I need to do today, but tomorrow should be good. I have a surprise guest coming, so stay tuned for that. Should, there should be there should be a lot of fun things going on tomorrow, so I'll definitely take you through that. But I'm going to show you guys my pre-workout really quick, and then I'm going to get going. So as you guys just saw, I'm going to have, I'm going to go ahead and have a full can of Monster, but what I did was went ahead and mixed half the can in here with like not even half a scoop of mixed energy. So I'm going to go ahead and just sip this because I'm going to walk to the r -Pack, so it's like a 10 to 15 minute walk, uh, which is one of the rec centers at OSU. So I'm going to walk there, sip on this, and then after I warm up, right before I go, I'm going to get that energy right here. Just that little energy rush. I don't know. I like breaking up my pre-workout just because like it kind of hits me fast. So I enjoy having something to go like right after my workout because then it, yeah, it works for me. But, and if you guys are interested in mixed energy, um, I definitely will get a discount code up for you guys to so be on the lookout for that as well as, um, yeah, let's go ahead and do a giveaway too. So we'll get that in the works. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this workout and sip on all this fun stuff. And then I'll check in with you guys later. We've got a special guest here. Hi. Mama McGrath is in the house. All right, I've not eaten yet. Mama McGrath is not eating yet. It's about 11.15, so we're out searching for a restaurant right now, and I'll show you guys where we end up. Why you gotta fight with me at Cheesecake? You know I love the gold. Definitely looking at some breakfast foods right now. Little agua with lemon and some wheat baguette. Alright, so got a side of pancake and they don't have sugar free syrup, so I'm gonna use these little things of jelly. 
Oh well. And then some home fries, a creator and an omelet. I got egg white and then cooked it with, I don't know if they use, either use cooking spray or olive oil, but I'll account for that later. And then toast. All right, just stopped at Vitamin Shop and picked up some bars. They, I think it was buy five, get one free. So we just got lots of bars. So I will show you what we picked. Dig in here. Got a, well, sorry, Cinnamon Twist Combat Crunch. Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough Combat Crunch. Excited to try these out. The Optimum Nutrition Cake Bites. This is birthday cake. Uh, then we got red velvet. And lastly, we got two of the D's Naturals No Cow Bar, and this is chocolate banana bread. And lastly, dark raspberry truffle. Now, 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 I got a little bit of money filling my pockets. pockets. Roll around. Also, when we were inside Vitamin Shop, there was uh, a representative from Finiflex. I think it was a company, I can't remember. Uh, but I tried one of their proteins. It was like a, a churro. What, what flavor was it? Chocolate churro. Yeah, chocolate churro or something. I don't know, but it tasted phenomenal. I was actually really surprised at that. But right now, we are heading to the Tanger Outlet Malls here in Columbus. I just made it back home and I did pick some stuff up from Walmart so I typically shop at Kroger so I figured it'd be cool to get uh, to show you guys what I picked up here as well as show you just some of the new stuff that I picked up for my diet so let's get started there's really no order to how I got this, but I did pick up some ground turkey, 97% uh, fat free. Thought it'd be cool to make little like taco salads. So I went ahead and got a bunch of shredded lettuce as well uh, to make that. I uh, also picked up some eggs, um, just some smoked turkey breast, fat free. Um, this is a huge pack, so got that. Uh, one of these little tuna things, these are just really easy. If I'm ever like in between having chicken, I usually just like will have that instead. Uh, some fat-free cheddar. This is one of my favorite things about Walmart, actually, is that they have this. Macros on this are pretty awesome. Zero fat, two carb, and nine grams of protein. So definitely some cool things to do with that. Stacked up on, or stocked up on some unsweetened cashew milk. Uh, this is my favorite. Uh, I, I honestly prefer this over almond milk, so got this. Uh, as far as veggies, I've been making a lot of, like, stir-fry stuff, so I've been using these rice cauliflower that I've been showing you guys. So I got two different kinds of that. Uh, I got a bunch of frozen broccoli. Uh, and then I also got, for my taco salad, I went ahead and got some chunky salsa and some baby bell mushrooms. And I'm not else, or I'm not sure what else I could put in there, uh, fat-free cheese, but maybe some sort of sauce would be good with this, I don't know. But of course, got some rice cakes. Got some sugar-free maple and brown sugar oatmeal. And I found these and I just had to pick them up. They had the chocolate mocha and then there was also like a vanilla latte one, but this one sounded really good. So, I mean, obviously I'm not even gonna bother shade macros on that cause you know, it's crap, but I'll definitely, we'll try those at some point. And lastly, just picked up two white monsters. Uh, one of these sparkling waters. I got kiwi strawberry, um, some chili lime cholula. Reduced sugar ketchup. I do like this on dieting because it's only one gram of carb per serving as compared to normal ketchup, which would be four carbs. So that definitely adds up. Uh, I got some spray butter. I got some of this sugar-free chocolate sauce, which I actually mix with my powdered peanut butter just to make it chocolatey because for 32 grams, once this, there we go. It's only four grams of carb, and I use maybe like four grams of it, so it ends up being like not even a carb. Not even one gram of carb. And then lastly, my Maple Grove Farms sugar free syrup. So that is going to wrap it up, and I will catch you guys here in a little bit. This pancake is so freaking fluffy. Hold up, hold up. Just for your enjoyment and, and mine. Oh, I don't know if the camera like picks up that much. Oh yeah, right there. See that jiggle? I'm over here just smacking cakes. 
How do you feel about me smacking cakes, Tristan? Do what you gotta do. Do what I gotta do. I see. Sad, sad. All right. What is going on, guys? I got so the now. privilege of being in this. All right, yeah, currently on the way to the R pack right now. I'm gonna knock out 25 minutes of cardio to finish out my cardio for the week and sit in the sauna with Mr. Tristan right here. What's up? I don't know if you guys have officially met Tristan, so uh, uh hi, this is you Tristan. Too. Say, say your um, thing. I'm Nick's roommate. Uh, we get along very well. He's a, he's a great guy. <laughs> All right, but guys, that is uh, it's gonna conclude it. I'll check in soon. All right, checking back in with you guys. So uh, I think it's about. Let me check the time it is right now. It is 9:15. Uh, it is Sunday night, and uh, I just got back from the gym a little bit ago. I did. Uh, I ended up doing like 27 minutes cardio, odd number, but 27 minutes cardio. I stretched a little bit, and then I got in the sauna. Uh, so I just came back, showered, and stuff, and. Uh, we're actually gonna go see a movie. We're gonna see, I think it's called Why, Why Him with uh, James Franco and Brian Cranston. I've heard it's really funny, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but right now I'm gonna go ahead and cook up some dinner. Uh, I didn't realize I definitely still have a good amount of macros left for the night, so I'm probably gonna make this and then find me a snack and stuff. Probably like one of my mini protein bars like I'll probably take something like that and then see what else I can bring into the movies. But I did want to show you guys really quickly how I did factor in uh, the Cheesecake Factory I had earlier into my macros and kind of what you guys can do if you guys go out to eat. So let me uh, show you that really quick. Alright, so we're here in my fitness pal. Uh, so this is what I had right here. So uh, I did have a little bit of the bread, uh, so I was able to pull that up. Uh, I had two little slices of the bread that Cheesecake Factory gives you. Um, as far as the toast, I couldn't find a lot of the information. Cheesecake Factory did not have like really any information for the stuff I had posted because I got like the breakfast stuff. So I had four pe or I had two pieces of toast. So I went ahead and I just factored this in. And now I have been tracking macros consistently for uh, a few years now. So I feel like I have a, a decent gauge. So since I couldn't find the exact nutrients, I went and found stuff that I thought would be similar and I'm able to estimate it pretty well. So I went ahead and found that in for the toast. Uh, for the omelet, I just found something generic. Uh, as far as protein and carbs go, I think that's accurate. Fat, probably not so much, although I did ask them to cook it in um, spray, like spray oil instead of their regular oil, so that definitely brought the fat content a lot down a lot, and it was an egg white omelet. Uh, as far as the pancake, I just pulled up this Kroger, but again, the carbs and protein seem accurate, but it seemed very low in fat, so I had to account for that. Uh, I found the potatoes, but it didn't list the fat or the protein. Um, I trust the carbs, but the fat, again, I don't think it's high enough. And then the jelly, I put that in because I actually ended up putting that on top of my pancake because they didn't have syrup, or they didn't have sugar-free syrup. So lastly, what I did was I input 16 grams of fat. I might actually add a few more and bump it up to 40 just because there's definitely some fat accompanied with the potatoes and there definitely was more fat inside the pancake. And since I used uh, spray oil, I think this might only be five or six grams of fat. So I'll probably estimate that. Um, but yeah, I might bump this up to 20 grams of fat and then go from there. Um, in some cases with some of the carbs between, sorry, I let this focus in. Uh, between tracking the carbs and protein stuff like that and overall fat the fat I'd rather overestimate the fat than what I expect as well as carbs I think I might be a little bit over uh, but that is okay with me I'd rather overestimate than underestimate and uh, this is a mini cut it's not something that's crazy serious it's not prep or anything like that so I definitely am okay with going out and eating like this because I'm still roughly making it fit my macros and again I'm not doing this every single day I've did this like Today's the first day I did that. So I'm okay with that. I really hope that you guys can incorporate that in other stuff. And if you're you're doing a kind of cut like this, like a mini cut or just another cut, you're not prepping for a show, realize that you can have this. Like it's okay to kind of release the release the gas a little bit sometimes. Like enjoy yourself. Like go out and enjoy a meal. Like yes, you can still be on track. Like a lot of but a lot of places out there they they have their full nutrition available online. So definitely look into that, but just don't don't let yourself not enjoy life sometimes. So that's all I have to say, and I will check in with you guys here soon. So while we were at the outlet mall, we actually ended up running into GNC and getting some more bars. <laughs> uh, definitely have a never load of bars, but I was really excited because they actually had these carb killer grenade bars and I've heard phenomenal things about them. Uh, mostly I've heard about the white chocolate cookie one. I've heard that it tastes kind of like a, the white chocolate, like, uh, or the, the whatever Hershey bar, uh, there's one of those. So super excited to try this, but uh, yeah, I think when I go to the movie, I'm definitely gonna have one of these and then I'll show you guys what else I have. 
All right, guys, in the night, I'm having a protein shake with one scoop of protein, uh, a frozen banana, and a little bit of cashew milk. And then to take to this movie, I'm taking this white chocolate cookie grenade carb killer and then this cookies and cream uh, Fit Crunch uh, or Fit Elite Bar, uh, Robert Irvine. So, so that is going to conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed uh, New Year Better You episode 4. If you like this video, be sure to actually like the video. Uh, that really does help me. I really appreciate it, guys. Be sure to comment and subscribe. And until next time, yeah, yeah. take care.